Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We were not expecting to have people seated all the way around behind, so I want to tell you, you're going to hear some, from some very special students today. You'll also get to hear a couple of adults, but I think you're particularly going to enjoy hearing from the students. It may be a little more difficult to hear back here, just bear with us. Uh, but at this time, we're going to turn our program over to our first student. Good afternoon. My name is Isabella Delilah, and I'm a fifth grade student here at Mountain Valley. Someone once said the greatest nation on earth is the imagination. None of us could have imagined, even in our wildest dreams, of someday being able to attend a school as modern and as nice as Mountain Valley. We are so happy that you all are here, and we cannot wait for you to see it. I believe you will agree that it is the most beautiful school in Mercer County. On behalf of the students from Ceres and Cumberland Heights, as well as the teachers, staff, and administration of Mountain Valley, we welcome you to the grand opening and dedication of our new school, Mountain Valley Elementary, home of the Mountaineers.
Mr. Gene Bailey, board member. Mr. Brett Greg Prudich, board member. And former board member, Mr. J.B. Hurd. We are honored to have several Mercer County delegates and members of, of county government who are here with us today. If you would all stand and be recognized as a group. I have one more board member that I need to announce. Mrs. Mary Alice Kaufman, board member. We have several other community leaders with us for today's dedication. Would you all stand and be recognized as a group also? I couldn't do that. 
And then I noticed on the back of our program that most of the people need to be thanked or already written on the back of the program. But I assure you there are a lot more who contributed to this that we would like to thank by name, but uh, I'm sure I have to get somebody and somebody's feelings will be hurt, so we won't do that. But I do want everyone to contribute in any way at all to this great facility and this great project to know that we recognize your effort and you are greatly appreciated. Before I became the board, I was a teacher for 48 years in the school. And during those 48 years, I taught in three different schools. Fortunately, I was blessed that in two of those three schools, I was there on the very first day to greet the students in a brand new school. So I have some idea from personal experience what the staff and the students will experience on their first day. There will probably be a little bit of apprehension, a little bit of anxiety, but there will be a whole lot more joy and excitement on that day. It will be a really exhilarating day for all, I'm sure. But from that experience of being in two new schools at the beginning, I'd like to say, well, I've learned one thing, that we have a task before us, and that task is to keep that joy going. The day two, and the week, and the month, and yes, even years beyond that point. And if we can achieve that, if we can keep this school so that every day when the students and staff come in, it's a day of joy, then this school will serve its purpose. And that purpose, of course, is to educate our students so they will be successful in life, and educate them with joy so that they will be a lifetime learner that will get the joy of learning throughout their entire life. If we can do that, then we've accomplished our purpose. Thank you. But I'm going to put it off just a little while, okay? Uh, you're beautiful. You're really beautiful. All in all. You know, listen. I don't have a script, and all I can do is speak the truth and speak from my heart. You know, we have a lot of dignitaries here. We have, you know, our board presidents, our superintendents, our board members. We have two delegates, Delegate Schott and Delegate Evans. We have a senator, Senator Swope, and you've got a governor standing here. And the most important of all are these rascals right here, and all of you. You have teachers and principals. You have the fabric that makes you really good. You've got parents that care and that love. And today we're opening a new school and it's fabulous beyond belief. It's beautiful beyond belief. And it's exciting beyond belief. But here's the whole secret to everything. At some point in time, and I believe this with all my soul, I believe that education should be our centerpiece in West Virginia. I said it on my first state of the state, and I'm getting ready to do my fourth state of the state. Now, time goes, and it goes very quickly. But just think how valuable and how 
absolutely great they are. How talented they are. How much of a responsibility that our teachers have every single day. For those on the outside that think we're behind, I don't mind. I never have. Because I'm in the schools. It's my best times. My very best times. Now sure, we can always do better, and we can always work harder to get better. But I'm telling you, we have an incredible treasure here, an incredible treasure in our teachers, an incredible treasure in all of these people and our delegates and senators that are making this real. You know, we just need in West Virginia to conquer the problems that are really at hand. Whatever you do, listen to your teachers in every way, shape, form, or fashion about anything whatsoever to do with drugs or anything like that because it's bad stuff. And you don't need to go there. You don't need to go there in any way. We'll win this war. And we're on our way. And we're on our way because of you. Just how good you are every day. And how high that you need and all of y'all need to hold your heads each and every day. Today is a great day in West Virginia. I love how we've got this little, I don't know, symbol, logo, whatever it may be. You kind of halfway stole that a little bit from somebody and modified it a little bit. <laughs> but again, it couldn't be better. No way could it be better to celebrate all the goodness that's going on right here. I bet anything, if you were to go to California or to Texas or to Ohio or wherever it may be, and open a school, you wouldn't have all these people right here today. Because this is your community. This is your centerpiece. These are your treasures. Go forward. Really proud of you. God bless you. If you would, and I know it's kind of tough because we're crowded, if y'all could kind of open a little path. These students will be serving as hosts today, and they have stations all throughout the building, and we need to let them slip out first. 
So guys, go ahead and go to your posts. And they'll be there along the way as you tour the building to point out certain classrooms and certain special areas. We'd also like to give an opportunity for the great group of staff members here at Mountain Valley who work very, very diligently to get a lot done in a little amount of time. Let's give another round of applause to Mountain Valley staff. And we want to give you all an opportunity to slip on out and go to your rooms ahead of the crowd. Now, as soon as the teachers slip out, you can tour the building as you exit the gymnasium. If you go to your left, that's the kindergarten and pre-K wing. If you go to your right, you'll pass the cafeteria, you'll see the administrative offices, and then the instructional wing for first and second grade is on the bottom floor, and third, fourth, and fifth grade is on the second floor. The, the host will help guide you along the way. We do have refreshments in the cafeteria. There's a group of folks that have worked very hard, stop in and have some refreshments sometime during your tour. Thank you all for coming.